This question is about endopsiotic theory. This is basically on the topics of cells. Now, before we can talk about the theory, well, let's cut the word. The word endo, it means inside. And symbiotic means I help you and you help me. It's more like two organisms helping each other. So we have this little guy here making a joke here, say basically, you know, why don't you give me energy and I will protect you with my cell membrane. And this guy's like, it's a deal. So basically what this is, is this is talking about some bacteria that was eaten up by a prokaryotic cell. Here's the interesting part. We have the prokaryotic cell. We know that's the first cell, right? And with time, he actually ate some bacteria in, knowing again, the bacteria are smaller than a cell, right? And the funny part is that we believe that the mitochondria right here, as well as the chloroplast, they used to be bacteria. And when they were eaten by the prokaryotic cells, they became eukaryotic cells. And this is how we get here, us, right? Now, why would they come up with such a theory? Well, there is some evidence according to the scientists. And here they are. The first one is that mitochondria and cell mem mitochondria and chloroplasts, they're both made of double membranes. Well, guess what? A bacteria has a cell wall, right? Right here, and it has a cell membrane. Mitochondria has the same thing. It has its outer membrane, and then it has its, its inner membrane. And chloroplast is the same story. You have chloroplast with an outer membrane and an inner membrane. So they all have double membranes. Hmm. Next thing is that bacteria has DNA. But guess what? So does mitochondrial chloroplast. And you know, because mitochondria and chloroplast, they have their own DNA, they can divide themselves into two without the need of the nucleus. So that means they both go through binary fission just like a bacteria. They just split into two copies without the need to, the nucleus to go through the whole process of copying DNA and all that stuff. They just do it by themselves. Ironically, you know, that whenever you get sick, right, and we have bacteria problems, we get antibiotics. And guess what? Antibiotics also affects mitochondria and chloroplast. Interesting, huh? And the last one is the ribosomes. Mitochondria and chloroplast actually have ribosomes inside but here's the interesting part. Prokaryotics, they have ribosomes at the size of 70, 70S. That's the size of the ribosomes in an eukaryotic. In the prokaryotic, in an eukaryotic, the size is actually 80, 80S. Now, you expect if mitochondria and chloroplasts are found in eukaryotics, then the ribosomes in them should be 80, right? But guess what? It's not. It's actually 70, just like the bacteria. How interesting is that? So they believe in all the possible ways that, again, bacteria, mitochondria, chloroplast, are all supposed to be the same thing because they have all of these. And they were actually eaten by a prokaryotic cell to become an eukaryotic cell. But the answer to the question is this one right here. Mitochondria actually has its own DNA. And that's one of the evidence that we believe that endosymbiosis existed in which the bacteria, such as mitochondria, chloroplasts, were eaten by the eukaryotics.